So the summary will be doing most of your work on the course website. And the main way that we deliver information about computer science and programming that you're going to be reviewing this semester, and the way, main way that you're gonna learn stuff is by reviewing these daily lessons. And we're actually doing two per day. So I've posted the first week of lessons, the first full week. For the first month of the course, we're also going to be completing lessons on the weekends. This is normal as part of CS125. We usually have students who have problem on the weekend, and so we have to do that to sort of keep up. So here's the first week of lessons, and you can see that uh, there are two lessons per day uh, on every day, and this is the first week up through Sunday the 20th. Um, so you'll start at the bottom here. Normally the new lessons will appear every day at the top, and again, there's two to do each day. So here's an example, I'm gonna click on this, and um, let's look at some of the lesson components. So all of these uh, examples here are things that you, know, you can mess around with uh, and edit and run. Um, there the keyboard shortcut, control enter will run the code. And you can do anything you want in here. You can experiment, you know, you can uh, mess around, you can try new things. One of the things that we really want you to do that's incredibly valuable when you're learning how to program or learning about computer science is experimenting. And so we've built in these ways for you to do this right on the page. So that's one important component of each lesson. Um, there's another important component, which is this thing called an interactive walkthrough. Right, uh, so I'll just start this up uh, quite briefly. And what you see is that when you click on one of these avatars, you start to hear a voice, that's me talking, um, and the code in front of you will start to be animated, right? And so you can see me as I'm walking through the code, uh, you can see where my cursor is, you can see the edits that I'm performing. And at any point, if you want to, uh, you can stop and you can run the code yourself and make edits and things like that. So again, this is another core component uh, of how we do this. Um, the, the lessons also include video content, like this one about my pets, uh, who are still around this summer and enjoying the warmer weather. Um, and then there's an explanation here about sort of what code is that you'll be working through. So, so this is the format of these lessons. They're highly interactive. Um, there's text to read. There's things to watch. There's code to interact with. All of these different components work together. So, so please don't think you can just read the lesson and get all the content because there's actually a fair amount of information that's embedded in the walkthroughs and other places. At the bottom of each lesson, there's a homework problem for you to complete. Um, and this is, again, a way to make sure that you've you know, completely understood the lesson material. Um, and so the first homework problem is fairly straightforward. Um, and each day, you're actually going to have two lessons to complete and two homework problems. So uh, this is the lesson for Monday the 14th. Again, we posted these early to give you a chance to get started uh, if you'd like. Um, here's the second lesson for Monday the 14th. This is on variables and types. This is the first time when we kind of start talking about things. And you can see there's multiple walkthroughs here. Um, many of the walkthroughs have explanations by course staff as well that you can use as backup. So you know, if you watch mine and it doesn't make sense completely or you want to see a different take on the explanation go ahead and you know uh, click on the other avatar and sometimes there's two or three or even more than that right um, and so again we go all the way to the bottom and we find ourselves uh, with another homework problem to complete and this is how we do this so essentially you know once you get into the rhythm of this class every day you'll have a couple of lessons to complete a couple of new homework problems um, and then quizzes bi-weekly as well and then this longer project that we'll do later in the semester but the sort of the, the core component of the class is going through these lessons. This is the quote unquote textbook. I don't like that word because it's so old fashioned, but this is the content of the class. There's no lecture, um, there's no book to read, there's nothing to buy. We put all this material uh, together for you for free uh, to help you learn the basics of computer science and programming this summer.